Chris Roberts from Berkshire with a well-worn family heirloom. Suze, do you mind joining me? And the heat is on for the Barnes leather expert, Susie Fletcher. <laughs> What's that? Well, your family's got a bit of history with fire service, haven't they? Uh, yeah, Steve, he was in uh, the retained fire service. Mm. I think you like this one, then. OK, can't yeah. wait. There he is. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very well, you? I'm very good. Good. So that fireman's helmet looks like it's um, seen a bit of action, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Who's yeah. is it? My uncle's, um, my uncle Clive. So this year will be 30 years where he gave it to me. Uh, I was only five years old at the time. Wow. Um, straight away, on it went. <laughs> and that's when I realised that's what I want to be when I'm, when I'm older. Ah. And that's what I've done. Really? Yeah, I've become a firefighter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah. Um... Your uncle, he's, he's still with us. So two years ago, mm. of all days, Christmas Day, mm. decided to have an early night. Yeah. And man, he found Tate. Passed away. Very sudden. Yeah. Did you see him before? Like... I'd spoke to him, and the last words he always would say is, see you on the big one, which means in the fire service, see you on the big fire. Um, so that was his sign-off, really. I never got a chance to say goodbye in person, but when I discovered he passed away, that's the first thing I, I went to, and that's why I want to hopefully give it a further chance yeah. in life. Just my way of saying thanks for the inspiration and thank you for being my uncle. Mm. So that's going to be on display. That's what I like to wear. Yeah. 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 Deserves, Deserves it. it. Yeah. Chris, thank you for bringing this in. See you on the big one. <laughs> yeah, oh, see you on the big one. You take care now. Thanks very much. Okay, All right. Bye-bye. 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 So the construction of this is like a, a, a plastic mould that's then covered with cork, and then there's like a, a material mesh put over the top. And my first thought is, can I actually remove this shell coating and then re-glue everything back down where it originally was? That's a mammoth thing to achieve. In order for me to do that, I've got to remove what remains of this binding on the edge here and see if I can just prise everything away from the cork. Two stitches cut. Maybe a thousand more to go. <laughs> so I've got a lot more painting to do here, but hopefully when Chris sees it, he'll be really happy with what I've been able to do. This hand-me-down helmet inspired a young boy to pursue a career in the fire service. Now Chris has returned, hoping it will spark fond memories of his beloved Uncle Clive. Hello. How are we doing? Good. Yeah, very well. Yeah? Nervous. But... So you ready? Yeah. Susie. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's fantastic. It's kind of so blocking. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's, there's a sad element to it, there's also a really happy one. And yeah. you've just you've made that happier side just a million times better. I mean, your really face says it all, so <laughs> yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it in. I can't thank you enough. And thank you for being a fire officer and keeping us safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uncle Clive passed away so unexpectedly. It's my way of, of saying goodbye to him. And it, it's, um, it's such a great feeling to, to have it restored. <laughs>